Hello friend and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chinedo Okafor. Uh, welcome to Bible study with me today and uh, we're going to talk uh, a little bit about don't miss your visitation. When God is talking, are you listening? So I'm going to title this don't miss your visitation. I'm going to Luke chapter 19 verses 41 to 44. Uh, really quickly, I'm going to read, <clears throat> and it says, And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it. It's talking about Jesus when he came, he came to uh, the city of uh, Jerusalem. Um, he wept over it and saying, verse 42, saying, If thou, I'm reading from the KJV, by the way, If thou had known even thou at least in this thy day, the things which belonged unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. Verse 43 says, For the days shall come upon thee, that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round about, and keep thee on every side. Verse 44 says, And shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children with thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, Basically, your enemies will do all these things to you and kind of destroy you, you know, kind of pull you down, come and desecrate and, and do all these things to you. Why? Uh, verse 44, at, just at the last part, it says, because thou knewest not the time of your visitation. So we hear Jesus weeps over Jerusalem, you know, kind of like the city, you know, with all the um, the messengers is talking about how there, there were messengers, you know, they were looking for the Messiah and many prophets were sent to, to the people, God's chosen people. <clears throat> and then there was a rejection. So Jesus here is looking at Jerusalem and he's weeping over it because he sees what's going to happen. He sees that the, their enemies are going to, you know, basically come against them and just pull them down and destroy everything, destroy the city. He kind of is foretelling as he's talking about these things. And he tells them, you know, we know that so many times God will send messages and God's people reject the messengers. So he's saying, verse 44, um, God, you know, you, you would have had peace in verse 42. Saying, if you had known at least this idea, the things which belong unto thy peace, meaning, um, the things that I have for you, like things that would have given you peace and joy and the things that you're looking for, but you missed it because you didn't understand that what you were looking for, the time of your visitation, you didn't realize it was already here. Like you're looking for something that I've already given you. Um, so in, in essence, what I want us to get out of this passage, I know there's a lot of other meaning to this passage, but what I want us to get is a question that you and I should ask um, one another or ourselves. Uh, God is talking, are we listening? Are, are we, have we um, missed the time of our visitation? Is God trying to tell you something? Is God showing up and telling you something or doing something you're not even aware because you are expecting something else and he's doing it another way? God is saying, <clears throat> pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on. Like, I'm here. You're looking for me. You're looking for something else, but I'm, I'm right there in your face. God is speaking. God is telling you something. God has a message for you right now. Are you listening? Are you paying attention? Or have you missed it? Uh, God is trying to help you. But sometimes we don't even see it. We don't see what he has already right there in our face. Um, I recently asked God for something in a prayer request. And I asked God um, a certain way. I was expecting it a certain way. And guess what? After going through, God did not do it that way. I was disappointed. I'm like, God, I thought this is how you're going to do it. This is how I asked for it you know and there's nothing wrong with asking God specifically to do something but he didn't do it that way so I was kind of disappointed that he didn't do it and it occurred to me that he actually just made it clear to me that he's already answered that prayer he has already made that provision he had already answered the very prayer that I was asking but I was not paying attention I wanted him to do it a certain way I was looking to him to answer it a particular way. So I was disappointed because it didn't happen a particular way, but he's already answered it another way that he wanted to answer it. So something for us to take away from is that um, 
God's ways are not our ways. And sometimes he's saying something to you. He's already answered the prayer that you're praying, but you're not seeing it. It's right in front of you because you're looking for something. You're looking for his provision in another way, in a way that you want him to do it. But he doesn't always do it our way, but his ways are always best and be just best, not even better, but best. So God may have made the provision already for you and what you're asking, what you're looking for. But you're missing the time of your visitation. You're missing the answer because you're looking for love, kind of looking for love in all the wrong places. You're looking for it in the wrong places. So what I want to advise you and I is to stay focused, ask God, and say, God, I am going to surrender and submit to you how you want to do it. I don't want to miss the time of my visit. I don't want to be looking for you to meet a need. I don't want to be looking for an answer. I don't want to be looking for you. And you're not even over there. You are already right here in front of me. But I'm looking for you to do it the way that I want it. I want you to do it. So I don't want us to miss God in trying to find God. Um, <laughs> so, and the consequence about that is that we lose out. We lose out our blessings. We lose out on his provision. We lose out. We miss it. Because we're not responding it to it God's way and how he has chosen to do it so let us submit to him we pray we ask but then we submit to god's will god's way because when we don't and when we miss the visitation the blessing the first time and sometimes the second time may be a kind of some consequence for not for missing it so here even in this passage god is saying i would have given you peace i would have given joy i would have if you were just paying attention you miss the time of your visitation and he just weeps over in this particular passage so i'm not going to take it too much out of context he weeps over jerusalem because jerusalem missed the time of her visitation referring to the city there were so many messengers sent there but they did not receive god's messengers but so let us look in our lives let's not miss god's message for us because we're looking for it the wrong way when he's already met it it's right in front of us so let's come to god humbly submit the bible says that if we seek god with all of our heart we will find him so i want to encourage you today don't miss your visitation okay god bless you and um talk to you next time remember to like and subscribe comment i want to hear a comment all right bye-bye for now